All right, everyone. So this is a very random video. And what we have here is an actual uh, like sack of egg from a praying mantis. And I spotted it like around February this winter. And we are at the moment of the year where little baby praying mantis are actually popping up. So it's a long investment uh, on my part, long investment of time, but look at this gorgeous little creature. And that's my thumbnail in comparison for a size. It is rather extremely small. Um, I've kept many praying mantis over the years, but this is something uh, completely different. This is, I've never had such a young praying mantis. I most like most of my praying mantis they were adult or uh, like old juvenile but yeah this this is a teeny tiny little thing very easy to take care of uh, they are carnivorous they will eat other insect and you need to give them some branch so they, they can blend in look at look at that it really look like a branch doesn't it and so um, it has a very good sense of vision. Uh, at this young age, it doesn't take a lot of space and even adult uh, don't take a lot of space because they're ambush predator. They will sit right like this up until a actual bug come and, um, you know, come close to them and then they will uh, snatch them with their nice uh, spiky little arms right there. So this is the little setup I have for this magnificent creature. So we have some moss, um, more moss. I also put like a, um, a wet tissue uh, on the floor of the enclosure so the uh, praying mantis can uh, drink from this without uh, drowning. So this is like a very important part when you're keeping young insect like that. You don't want a uh, like a, a, a pool of water too big uh, to swallow them. So uh, because they could drown, uh, they are not good swimmers, but you know, uh, having a little cloth of um, like a moist uh, towel or a moist Kleenex or something like that, that's perfect for them. Now for feeding, at this very young age, they will eat extremely tiny insect. Uh, they will eat some like uh, like fruit flies and some uh, aspids and stuff like that. Nothing big. And I am suspecting it to also be cannibalistic. Praying mantis have been known to eat each other's, uh, especially during mating season. It doesn't happen that often in the wild. It's more of a like uh, like mantis in captivity that does that during uh, breeding. But yeah, they are hunters and they can be cannibalistic. So I suggest and uh, advise keeping only one mantis per enclosure. Now, in my case, I'm probably going to not, like now that I have my one praying mantis, I'm probably going to put. Uh, the the actual like sack of egg outside in my garden uh, so that more mantis can uh, have a fighting chance to survive but uh, this is a nice little setup now I also have some uh, isopod I will try to find some um, sometimes they are like hiding uh, in these mosses this moss is growing well I like that. The moss will also help to uh, give some water to the praying mantis. Oh, I think I see. Yeah, I have a little isopod right over here. So what I'm hoping is for me to catch the freaking isopod in the first place so I can display it. Can I see more isopod? Where's my praying mantis? Oh, okay, it's there. 
I don't want to, uh, I, I want to be very gentle. I don't want to crush anyone. Okay, so that's an isopod. So um, I'm hoping that these isopod will actually breed in here and I have some tiny babies that the praying mantis could eat. Uh, but if they won't eat the isopod, it's okay. The isopod will just eat the dead leaves and stuff. So it's perfect. Um, no worms done. And so, yep, I'm just placing like this little moss. And uh, for this enclosure, this is the like an actual like uh, fry breeder for fish, uh, and it's perfect for a grown-up uh, vivarium. And then I have a very much bigger vivarium for when my little praying mantis over here. Oh my god, I almost swing you. <laughs> but yeah, when when this little baby girl is going to or baby boy, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, when it's going to be an adult, uh, it's going to have a much bigger cage. But for now, as a grown-up tank, I want to be able to monetize. Uh, yeah, monetize. No, monetize. Yeah, <laughs> I want to monetize you. I want you to make me revenue. No, but I want to uh, make sure she eats well and everything is good. But yeah, she's a beautiful, healthy one. Sadly, the first spring mantis that hatched from this egg uh, died. Um, it kind of got stuck uh, on his way out, and that's something that can happen. It's sad, but you know it's true. Some some will survive, some won't. For hatching the praying mantis, um, I've learned that you need to actually put the uh, the egg on a very like hot place. Uh, because the material that makes the egg uh, will kind of become like less hard in direct sunlight so yeah it's counterintuitive but you should place that directly in, in the sun so in the hot summer days of uh, the end of May and beginning of June that's when your praying mantis are going to hatch so thanks a lot I hope you've learned a few things and if you want to see a praying mantis actually laying an egg, I had one. And if you want to see a adult praying mantis, check out my old videos. It's, it's not the same baby, um, the egg that my praying mantis did wasn't fertilized, but it's kind of funny because uh, I've went full circle basically. I've seen all the stage of this insect. So if you want more, uh, like a feeding video or something, uh, that could always be interesting. Um, so let me know. I freaking love feeding praying mantis. They are so interesting. But, um, you know, maybe some of you will be triggered, but yeah. Praying mantis, the only food they eat is live food. So you cannot, like, them pellets or anything you need to provide fresh meat for them meat that is still moving and alive so if you're not committed to do that don't get a praying mantis get something else but yeah if you like to see a bug hunt another bug and if you just like those stunning creatures well then the praying mantis is a, a very fair bet it's one of the best beginning insect they are slow movers, they don't fly very well, and actually they don't fly for a long time. So this one doesn't have wings, eventually it will, but yeah, very easy to accommodate, don't take a lot of space, are beautiful, are super heck of an inter entertaining, don't need a lot of exercise because they just sit around most of the time. Uh, like this one is super active for a praying mantis, <laughs> because it's so young, it's so agile it's so tiny look at this beautiful creature so beautiful it's my favorite insect by far well actually close to the ants because ants are really fun to keep and i'm keeping them so if you want to see my ant farm check my future videos i have so much stuff to show you all sorry there was like a crazy man driving like a crazy madman but yeah making a lot of noise but yeah um i'm going to do more insect videos in the future and i'm also going to do more cichlid videos and i have 
other stuff to talk about. Like, a lot of other stuff. You cannot believe. You won't believe the next few videos. Anyway, Ezekiel, I love you. And all of you guys, I love you too. Bye-bye.